Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. I'm Paige, this is Seeking Alexandria, and guys, today we are going to have a very real conversation. Um, we're gonna get into that here in just a second, but before we do, I wanted to just give a big ol' huge shout out and thank you, and oh my good words, you guys! Look at this room, it is, oh my god, I'm so happy. Like, obviously you're only seeing one little piece of it. It's not done, it still needs to be furnished and like, you know, be all completed and put together, but I feel like this is going to be such a better setup for filming, for lighting, for everything. Um, of course, I wanna hear from you you guys down below how does it look on your end I can't see what you guys are seeing quite yet because editing page isn't you know obviously on that side of the computer but for right now I think it looks so much nicer than it did and I'm just obsessed you guys literally none of this would have been possible without my parents like huge shout out neither of them are like on the internet or anything but just a huge shout out to the two most amazing people that have literally helped me put together this 72,000 piece freaking piece of bookshelf thing back here or my tables up here or whatever it is like they've been here just helping me every step of the way and it has been absolutely amazing so welcome to the new setup hopefully it's going to continue to improve and all of that but for right now this is where we are and I absolutely love it now let's go ahead and I want to just straight up like dive in to today's video because I know a, if I don't I'm just gonna like sit and ramble because I'm very very nervous I'm very apprehensive for this conversation because I wasn't trying to be clickbaity with the title I really do have to have a serious conversation with you guys and it's going to encompass quite a few things so I don't want to waste a ton of time I do just want to tell you up front though this is not going to be the type of video that you need to like watch you don't need to just sit here and watch me talk if you want to go do something maybe put it on headphones um you know go run on the treadmill or, or you know if you're driving and you want to throw it on your radio so you can hear it in your car this isn't the type of video that you need to directly see me for so just keep that in mind if you want to watch and maybe get something else done you can do that um I always like to know that kind of stuff going into a video just you know so I can actually accomplish something but if you want to sit and watch that's fine too now today the reason that we need to have a conversation is because things are going to change around here and um this is a conversation that I haven't wanted to have in a long time. There's several reasons that we're going to have it, and I think I'm just gonna dive in with the most recent. So last week, you guys are aware that I missed a day when I uploaded, and I know that that's pretty inconsequential as far as things go, like it's one day out of five, you know, it doesn't happen all that often. Well, I told you guys on Instagram and on here that I wasn't feeling very well, and a bunch of you guys have said, you know, I hope you're feeling better, and I've alluded to several people that, you know, we're gonna talk about that, because that's what we're here to talk about. Um, when I started my channel I was very open with you guys and I still am to this day about what's wrong with me for those of you that don't know I have a brain tumor I have autoimmune diseases I have spinal disorders I have a lot of things health wise that are wrong with me that um, they cause me issue and last week I wasn't sick last week I actually had what's called an autoimmune attack and it's basically where everything that's wrong with you just hits your body all at once so Paige was basically curled up in the fetal position like wishing that she was dead because there's just so much immense pain and it's pain in your head, your legs, your back, your body, your everything, your psyche, your, your anxiety, your depression, your everything just kicks in. And it's literally every aspect of your being just attacks you. And it's something that happens, especially for autoimmune disease patients, when you are overstressed, overworked, overdone. Um, and I, up until this point, I didn't realize... I didn't realize how bad it was um, and a lot of people around me obviously did and I, had, I just didn't see it. Um, guys, I think... I think my body is like on the verge of it's gonna it's gonna tap out if I don't slow down so I'm not gonna like sit here and prolong this conversation I'm gonna be and I know to a lot of you it's not a big deal um, but I'm gonna step down from five days a week to three it'll be a Monday Wednesday Friday upload schedule and I just want to say that because if I don't say it I will beat around the bush forever now that's not the only thing we need to talk about so don't go anywhere but um, that's the first number one thing that I want to address with you guys is the uploads because I have uploaded for two and a half years now on my channel and it's been amazing. When I first started, I did seven days a week. I cut it down to five. Girl, I felt so good. And I've been doing five videos a week um, in conjunction with running two full-time businesses with my father in the real world here um, for the last two years. And it has taken so much of me. And I feel like more than anything, it sucked so much joy out of this for me. This community, this fun, this this sit down and talk to you and, and be able to relax because I feel like my brain is always somewhere else. It's always on that next upload. It's always on to that next thing. And I don't want to do that. When I sit here with you guys, I want it to be something that I'm doing and that I'm loving and that I'm putting myself to you and I don't want to be distracted and I feel like 
everything kind of culminated at once last week and my body just went down and it was like Paige no you're done you're done with everything you're not going you can't you're not working you're not functioning you're not gonna think you're not gonna breathe you're not gonna even you're not even gonna lay comfortably because you have taxed yourself to the point of absolute almost death and that's what it felt like and I I don't come to these conclusions lately um there's so many other things that I could say right now, but the moral of the story is that my health is something I've never put first. I've never had self-preservation be something that is a priority to me. It's never been something, I don't even understand it. Like when my friends, you know, when I was younger, I had a cousin and he would talk about, oh, you know, it's the art of self-preservation. I have to take care of myself. I literally didn't understand what he said. And that was 15 years ago. <laughs> like I, I just, this concept of caring about yourself more than you care about X, Y, or Z, I've just never understood it because that's not who I am and it's not because I'm you know trying to say I'm some great you know selfless human being it's just that I look at my upload schedule or my work or this I look at everything in terms of what other people need and it's something that is I think one of my strongest attributes but also one of my strongest downfalls um, for example I look at my business and I think well I need to be okay I need to go to work because you know all of these people depend on me to feed their families and to take care of their children and to keep the roof over their head That needs to happen I need to make sure that I can pay these people because they depend on XYZ and for my uploads I need to make sure that I'm here every day for those of you that are like me that are sick or that are chronically ill or you're in bed or You're you know, you have a difficult time socializing or maybe you have depression anxiety, whatever it is that got you here um, I want you to always know that you're not alone and that there's someone that can help you and be with you every single day And that has been for me a huge asset and a huge Pull for my channel is that is knowing that I was there and I was helping someone and all the while that I was doing this It never really occurred to me that I should also look out for myself And I know to some people that's gonna sound crazy But also to some of you it's gonna sound completely right in your wheelhouse And that's just because all of us are made so differently and we're all you know, we all we all have different priorities and so um yeah, that was a hard one for me to get to that. By the way, that took six takes, just so you guys know. It took six takes for me to get that all out at once and not lose my actual everything here. Now, in addition to that part of the conversation, I mentioned that there was more, and that's where my notebook comes in, because guys, I wrote everything down, because, you know, I'm, I'm a Libra. But my second note here, aside from talking to you guys about being sick, and again, I mean, it's something I can get into more detail on later, if that's something you guys are curious about, if you want to see it, um, but essentially, I'm just, I'm starting to realize more and more that, and, and I've never experienced, like, a pain, of, I've, I've experienced autoimmune attacks, but nothing that I couldn't get through, nothing that I wasn't just like, oh, I'll be fine, I'll just be miserable, but I'm I'll be fine like normally I can scooch my way through them and be fine and this time my body was just like mm -mm, girl no you need to you need to take a beat you need to sit down you need to think because the, and I honestly guys it takes a lot to scare me where health is concerned and that was terrifying I've never felt so much pain and so much like it was like every aspect of me was empty physically mentally emotionally like every every aspect was just on zero and it was like I was getting a glimpse into what complete and total burnout is going to be like if I don't do something. And these are just things that I'd never like felt or seen before. And so, again, I can talk more about it. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to ask. But um, I'm going to go ahead and move on so I can kind of keep this rolling for you guys. Um, the second thing that I have written here is about the type of content that is going to be on my channel. Now, this is something that's also really difficult for me to talk about because... <sighs> When it comes down to content, I feel like people show up for one very specific thing. And on my channel, you can tell hands down what it is. It's makeup. It's reviews. It's what I do. And I feel like I wouldn't be doing any service to myself if I didn't start off by saying YouTube has changed a lot, which is fine. Um, but YouTube has changed. It's, it's changed a lot. You know, if you think about when it started, let's say, let's say when the beauty community started getting big, like six, seven ish years ago, it was a lot of tutorials, right? It was, oh my God, like, let's talk about how to do a smoky eye, how to do your foundation. What's the do's and don'ts of a wing liner? You know, it was all of that sort of stuff. And, and it did really well. And then as it drifted out of tutorials, it went into reviews and reviews is where I came in. That's the, that was my sweet spot. That was my zone. I came in when reviews were popping. Everybody wanted to see them. Everybody wanted to know what you were thinking. Well, as time has went on now, we are two and a half years later and um, reviews aren't the thing. 
and I, you guys I know that you can see views on the front end but I can see analytics on the back end and reviews are just not everything that people want to see people want to see commentary and they want to see anti hauls and purchaser passes and those are all great videos but ultimately for me I and again I don't mind doing them and I do them and I love them but they're not something that I would structure my entire channel around and what I've noticed especially in the last four months like I've given this some serious time um, to kind of evolve and see what it looked like but I've noticed such a decline in the interest of reviews and in the interest of is it good is it not and, and that sort of thing and again it's not to say that a lot of you don't care but the reality is that the views are just not as accessible if you want to do reviews and it's not just that it's all about the views and I know that that's something everybody talks about but views are incredibly important because views don't just translate to money they don't just translate to ads they don't just translate to to that or popularity they translate to how many people I'm able to reach and I'm not gonna get into it a ton but ultimately what it looks like when I'm putting out stuff that does like mediocre and then dips and then mediocre dips I might have a good one and then dip down again it looks like uh, to YouTube and to the algorithm which everybody talks about um, but it looks like I don't know what my followers want it looks like I don't know how to do YouTube and ergo YouTube doesn't um, push me YouTube doesn't tell anybody that I'm there YouTube doesn't t say hey this girl's over here she's putting out videos five days a week she's spending literally 40 to 50 hours a week doing this channel um, on top of her life and on top of all these things YouTube doesn't care about any of that all YouTube sees is numbers and so when I as someone who love what I do and I love this channel and I love all of these things when I get on here and I talk to you guys about numbers you need to know it's not about money because quite frankly first of all we wouldn't be having this conversation if it was because what I'm about ready to talk about is probably going to you know it's, it's gonna hurt the money side of things and it's something more so about and Raw Beauty Christie actually I feel like just talked about this in a video not too long ago maybe it was last week or something um, but it's about putting so much of yourself and so much time and effort and editing and care and money of your own into videos that don't that don't reciprocate anything you're literally putting out like a piece of art that then no one sees and it's incredibly difficult and it's so disheartening and again that's not your guys's fault that's no one's fault that you know cer certain things are trendy right now and certain things aren't that's fine but I realized for myself that um, in the last couple of months especially in the last week that um, the reason that I got into YouTube as far as like the makeup side goes is because I love the idea of helping people and telling them like hey this foundation's really good this palette's worth it this one's not this is where you should spend your money or maybe this isn't worth it and really giving people my thoughts and opinions in that way I absolutely love 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 doing that and it's just not really what people are looking for now and even if you think like well I love that kind of stuff that's my favorite kind of content I get that but you are the far and few between and it's just reality like look at how well drama channels do look at how well again commentary and stuff like that does they do well for a reason and it's because that's what everyone is looking for and I realized that if I become that person if I just go where the trends are if I just go and say well you know what drama is getting views I'm gonna get into drama or commentary is getting views I want to do commentary if I become that person I am going to become someone I'm not and I don't want to be that person so um, the content on my channel is also going to change it's going to become I'm hopeful in the next like few months I want it to drift maybe a little bit more lifestyle and I'd love feedback from you guys what you think on this um, I'm kind of envisioning obviously still makeup like you guys I have a lot of makeup I love makeup I love doing it I love reviewing it and talking about it um, it'll just be maybe in a different way um, but in addition to the makeup side of things I'm thinking maybe plus size uh, clothing try-ons and reviews in that sense I have ideas for another little video series that I'd like to film I'd love to do vlogging again and there are just so many things that I would love to get to share with you guys that are actually on like a real life basis that I think could be really fun and enjoyable but I know that they're not makeup and I know that that's something that's really really going to bum out so many of you and I totally understand and if that's you um, I still want you to talk to me I still want you to interact down below and let me know if it's not makeup is there something else that you're interested in is there anything else that you do want to see um, is is what is what is it that you're looking for from me um i know some of you are like girl i would watch you you know unbox your groceries and then other of you are just like hey i really only like makeup or whatever the case is i still love hearing from you and i know i say that at the end of every video but i genuinely like hearing from you guys because i think it's so important to to open up that dialogue and have a conversation between creator and person watching creator and like hey girl this is what we like this is what we don't like um because i feel like we've come so far together so many of us have and it would just be a shame to lose that dialogue and along those same lines another thing that i wanted to mention is actually me and kind of how a lot of this comes together 
in the way of me changing and like me almost censoring myself, which is so weird because I'm not the type of person that censors herself at all. Um, but somehow from when I started my channel, which for you guys that obviously weren't here at the very beginning, your girl swears. Okay. I swear a lot and, um, I'm, you know, I'm open about it. It's fine. But when my channel first went up, it was really important to me that when I would do videos on chronic illness or when I would talk about sickness or that sort of thing, it was important to me that parents might watch them with their kids or that if kids found them that they would be allowed to watch them and just learn maybe what's going on in your body or know that you're not alone regardless of what age you were and what ended up happening is that parents would find my channel and they would be like wow you know I love what you're saying but I don't feel comfortable having my kid watch you because you know you swear whatever and um I started to censor myself a little and I think that that's totally fine you know I think there's an appropriate amount of censorship to be had um as far as like if you're out in public you know there's certain things you don't scream in public that you might scream at someone in your house or just anything like that and so um, I was fine doing it a little bit there and somewhere between the person that would swear all the time and then lightly censored themselves to now I have become someone who literally if I swear at all I immediately either go oh, I can't say that or I just back up the video and I edit it out and I think that this one is actually a couple fold you know I think that this is something where I just let it go for too far too long and I let myself become comfortable as someone who it's not that I wasn't myself because I've always been my authentic self with you guys but I've been someone that has tried to curb what she says so hard that I never want to say the wrong thing and I think part of being me and part of being how I am and how I present myself to the world is that I'm very lighthearted with things and I like to jest and I like to make jokes and I like to be someone that is relatable and I feel like a relatable person isn't perfect all the time and a relatable person and someone that I want you guys to know is someone that swears like I'm someone that I say these words or I might say a phrase and it has a swear word in it and I don't I was never someone that thought swearing was a big deal I know a lot of you do and that's totally fine um, but I wanted to give you guys a heads up more than anything in this video that um, that side that like censorship side of page is gonna be you know drifting away a little bit here and there so you may or may not hear some swear words you may or may not hear some I don't even know what's but I just want to be able to feel like I can get back to me I feel like it would be a shame to sit here and say well I'm not gonna film as much and I'm not gonna upload as much but I'm still gonna like be you know feel restricted no I want to be able to sit down in front of this camera after so many years and be like guys this is where it's at like I've produced how many like 600 videos at this point I want to be able to be the person I was at the very beginning and I want to be able to just be authentic so authentic that it's like you're sitting here and for the most part that is how it is anyways but I catch myself just wishing that I could give all of it like like not stop at 90 go the full 100% and so that's just a little something just a heads up um, so you guys know going forward there may or may not be some sort of something to that effect going on and I just wanted you to be aware in case it's important to you that you know you might hear it and also you might hear that truck in the background girl so loud and along those same lines too I don't think it's just about me being able to swear or do this or do that on camera I think it's about being able to share with you guys what's going on in my life like if I'm feeling overwhelmed if I'm feeling sick if I'm having an auto attack or anything like that I want to be able to talk to you guys about it and the crazy part about it is that you know this isn't something that you guys have put up this isn't a a wall that you guys built this is a wall that for some reason I built and for some reason I've been building it my entire life this isn't just a YouTube thing I've never been comfortable talking about stress or feelings or overwhelmed or anxiety or whatever those are things that I'm comfortable talking about them about like how they affect me but when I'm feeling it in the moment I do have a difficult time expressing it and I don't want to feel that on here I want to be able to know that that door is open for whatever again it's not just about being able to say a swear word it isn't just about that it's about being able to just sit down and know that whatever I have got going on right now I can tell you guys and I can be honest and that's because again if I'm wanting to do more lifestyle type things I feel like it comes with a territory you guys might see me in a good mood and a bad mood you might see me up down left right sideways and I want you to know that you are getting that authenticity that so many people are like it's not normal for every single person every single day to be super super top 10 happy that's not a normal thing and I want you guys to just know that if you're going through it I'm going through it and I want to be able to talk to you about it and be more open and honest and have that dialogue because I think that it's super super important now just to give myself a little recap because your girl likes to kind of keep everything in track up here um, what all what all is happening so we have a new upload schedule Monday Wednesday Friday it's still gonna be a 6 to 7 a.m. you know my time northern Michigan type deal um, just Monday Wednesday Friday um, content is going to start drifting as well again it's gonna change around we're still gonna have a lot of makeup especially at first because I, I have other stuff planned but 
but nothing is like set in stone yet and those videos are also going to take longer to film so we're going to see a big shift in quite a few things but uh, content is going to be changing up a little bit lifestyle that sort of thing also you know this the swearing and you know whatever happens to just kind of blurt out of my mouth um, we'll also have a little bit new in that sense as well and all of this kind of culminates to my one final point which is that if you think that I am making this change lightly or like whimsically or anything please know that I'm not I this is something that I have literally wrestled with because as a small creator this is something that is or could very easily tank my brand this could tank my channel in a matter of a month before I'm literally off the YouTube algorithm all over again and I say this and I even bring it up because guys I'm gonna need your support and your care and you being here more than ever. I'm going to need you to watch the ads. I'm going to need you to thumbs up and to comment and to interact with each other, interact with me, interact everywhere that you can down below because it's incredibly important to my channel that YouTube knows that you're still engaged. Otherwise, I won't exist. And don't get me wrong, if you feel like this new page or this new channel isn't something you're on board with, then by all means, I totally understand. But I don't feel like I would be being righteous with you guys if I didn't tell you that this change is nothing in the way of how much I do need you guys right now. This isn't even, and you know what, yeah, take take the whole like channel support thing out of it. I as a person need you guys as a person because this is a huge change, not just for a channel, it's a huge change for the person behind the channel. It's the person back here taking the time and accountability to say, look, I need something more for me. I need health. I need to care. I need self-care. I need to live my life. Um, I, I don't go out. I don't do things. Things and I need to start. I'm 30 years old and it's time that I not focus so much on just this and just sitting in here and just and I love it guys I love it so much and if life could meet me in this room and I could still live life and do this I totally would but I'm not living my life and as someone who again is the person behind the camera I need you guys to to still support me and still support what I do and still watch it and still care the same way that you would if it was another video. And I know that for some of you, again, that's not gonna work out and that's totally fine, that's understandable. Um, but if you wanna stick around and you still wanna support, I would love to hear from you down below and I'd love to talk to you guys and see kind of what's going on. And I know this video is going to hit a lot of people really hard and I'm so sorry about that. I know um, one of the things that actually made this made this even more difficult is that I feel like a complete failure in this video. Like if I'm just gonna be honest, I just said I need to be able to tell you guys, you know, where I'm at with things. I feel like a dead failure in this video. And I've talked to some friends about it and they're all like, girl, you're not, you're not a failure. You know, there's nothing wrong with you for needing time and for needing to live your life and for X, Y, Z, there's nothing wrong with that. And it isn't, a, I don't, I feel like a failure because I feel like I let so many of you down because so many of you look forward to me every day to literally live your life because you know that you're like me and if I can do it, you can do it. And you know, you look forward to having something constant in your life that doesn't fail you. And I feel like I just did. And it's something that is incredibly difficult difficult for me to talk about, obviously. Um, to look at, again, did I mention it took me several takes to get this far in the video? Oh my God. <sighs> um, it, but it's something to where I... I even told myself during this video, like, Paige, we're not making jokes. Like, this is not a funny video, okay? This is a serious video because I will disguise literally anything I can with humor. And um, this needed to be a time for me to sit down and be real and transparent with you guys. So... <sighs> you guys that's pretty much the gist of what I have going on today but I need to know from you guys down below what do you think what are you hearing um, from me right now what are you what are your thoughts I please like spitball fire away let me know what you think um, if there's anything that you would like to see by the way let's start there if there's like hey Paige I've always wanted to see like a plus size try on of this brand or I've always wanted to know about this brand or what whatever please leave that down below and just remember I'm not not doing makeup I'm not you know I'm not not doing anti hauls or things like that because I most definitely am I have several planned things are in the works um but there's just there has to be more than that I think right now and I'm very open to hear what you guys have to say as far as brands or video ideas or what you want or what you don't want uh like hey Paige I love to see vlogs hey Paige I absolutely hate those they're awful hey Paige I would love to whatever it is leave it down below and let's start that conversation um 
because this was an incredibly hard one for me to have. Now, um, piggybacking off of all of this, you guys, um, the interaction thing, like I mentioned, is incredibly important. And if you haven't done so yet, you don't follow me on Instagram and on Twitter. I know I say it a ton, but I really do mean it, especially on Instagram right now. Things have really changed over there. Um, I, <laughs> I'm doing a lot of very interesting things. I'm really getting into um, both fashion a little bit more. Like, I, I don't want to say avant-garde, but I'm really into like fashion or high fashion photography, telling a story with my photos. Not sure if it'll be up by the time this goes up or not, but I'm going to be putting up a like three panel series on my Instagram that I shot myself. And it is just, it's something where I'm having these ideas and I want to tell stories with photography. And I'm so, I'm so invested. There's so many more pieces of me than just this that I really want to be able to delve into and talk about. And I feel like I'm just, I'm ready to do that. So if you don't follow me on both of those places, they are down below. Um, also, if you, again, aren't subscribed and you want to stick around and you want to help me build this and um, hopefully not totally just bust and burn, I would greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe and turn on your post notifications. I will be uploading Monday, Wednesday, Friday uh, between 6 and 7 a.m. my time here in northern Michigan. Wow, does that feel super weird to trickle off the tongue. Um, Guys, my hands are literally raw from doing this for the last um, hour that I've been filming this. Um, guys, I just, I can't, I can't thank you all enough for trusting me and for coming back every day and for wanting to hang out with me and for wanting to be my friend um, and for knowing me and for caring about me and for so many other things. I want to thank you guys for letting me be someone that meant something to you. Um, I say that a lot in the comments, you know, people will say, oh my God, like, thank you for making me laugh or whatever. My response always is thank you for letting me make you laugh because it means a lot to me that you guys let me into your life and that you let me there every day and that you care about me and that you come back and that you, you give me your time to let me make a difference in your, in your life, in your day, in your smile, whatever. And I just want you guys to know again, going forward, no matter what, it doesn't matter if I end up reviewing tree frogs. Okay. It does not matter. No matter where I end up, I'll never this is like a thing for me. This, where I'm at right now is always going to be something pivotal. And it's something that I wouldn't have had and a realization I would never have come to if it wasn't for you guys and if it wasn't for your support and for who you are to me. And I know that between me and, you know, over 14,000 of you guys, I could never, I could never tell you guys all individually how much you mean to me and how much it means that you guys show up and are the way that you are. And I don't want to be one of those YouTubers that drones on about it, but from me to every single one of you, it means so much. And thank you if you if you choose to stick around. Again, I would love it if you would. Um, I'd love to hear what kind of content ideas you have, but you guys, above all, I hope that you have a great day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this, and I will see you in the next one on Wednesday, and have a great day. Bye.